Hello everyone. In this video, I will explain how to configure rebuff and return to spot in Plugin Hunter using the Hi5 server as an example, where there is no Alt B, i.e. usual original server, where all actions are done through the NPC. If you are interested in information on how to install and run the plugin, there is a video on the channel dedicated to this topic, look at the tips. So what should we set up? Directly the spot itself. You need to add it to the list of spots, draw a hunting zone in the bot, as well as configure the bot config, which is responsible for the behavior in battle. Further, the route to the spot. All this is done using the GPS editor. Including in it we set up dialogues with the NPC, with which the bot will teleport to the hunting location. And finally, rebuff. Indicate which buffs and from which NPCs you need to receive. It doesn't matter in which order we will configure these steps. Consider the standard situation we are standing in a city from which we can make a TP to the hunting location. In our case, this is town of Shutgert, and the spot will be in the crypts of disgrace. Let's start by creating a script config and calling it as name of our character. Just in case, so that there is no confusion, I'll clarify. The script config is Hunter's settings, he is responsible for returning to spot, rebuff, purchasing, etc. The bot config is the settings of the adrenaline bot itself, it is responsible for the behavior of your character in battle. Attack, self-heal, buff, etc. Let's set up rebuff first. Go to the rebuff tab. Check that the checkbox enable rebuff functions is enabled. Next, click the add button. The item appears in the list and you need to configure it method here we have a choice npc or alt b we are interested in the buff from the npc selecting it buffs here we list the ids of buffs the presence or remaining time of which the script will check and go for a rebuff if needed by pressing the plus button we will see a list with all the buffs that we have we select the cob and some dancer song Leave spot for rebuff, if buff time left a few sec. If you leave this number equal to zero, then the bot will not fly away from the spot for this buff, he will buff it only when it is in the town for any other reasons. But we want the bot to leave the spot beforehand, enter the needed number of seconds here. For example 150. Level. Here you can specify the range of levels when you need to use this buff. For us this is not relevant. So we leave the values equal to zero i.e. they will not be used. Buffers. Here you can list through the semicolon the ID of those NPCs from which you can get this buff. i.e. here you can list several NPCs at once. For convenience, there is a button that adds the NPC ID, which you now have in the target. Select our buffer and click it. There is a database attached to a script, which contains information about all the NPCs and where they are located. It may happen that the buffer on your server is some kind of custom NPC that is not in the database, then you will need to add him. This is very simply, and I will show it a little bit later. Dialog. Here you need to specify the dialog with the NPC, which is needed for to receive a buff. Open the dialog with our buffer. Click the plus button and select all necessary dialogues. You can right click on the dialog settings field and additional settings will open, which may come in handy if the admin somehow especially approached the issue of protecting dialogues on your server and the standard method does not work. Conditions. This field does not yet have a convenient configuration in the interface, but in general, you can specify additional conditions, previously described in the script, in an unlimited number, which will allow you to customize the behavior very flexibly. We do not need this, so skip it. Rebuff is configured, save the script config. Let's get back to the issue of adding a custom NPC to the database. Go to the Database Editor tab. Select your server's chronicle. In our case, this is High 5. To check if our buffer is added to the database or not, select it in the target, and we will see its ID in the Adrenaline's bot interface. Start to enter his ID in the search field. We can see that he is not in the database. Press the T button, and then the Add button. 
In our case, NPC's name is not automatically configured, enter it manually. Click on the button Save Changes. That's all. Now let's make a route to our spot. Go to the Movement tab. First, you need to specify the path to the GPS database file. Click on the icon. In the dialog that appears, select the file for the appropriate chronicle. In our case, it is High 5. Next, click the Open in GPS Editor button. The editor opens, in which we will need to record the route to our spot. I draw your attention to the fact that for all popular chronicles I have already drawn routes for movement between towns. And in fact, you just have to make routes from the gatekeeper to the spot. I already told you basic information about how to use the editor in another video, so I won't focus much on basic actions. If you don't understand something, review the video, the link to it will be in the tips. In order for the character to teleport to a location, you need to create a one-way connection between the gatekeeper's point in the town and the location point, where he teleports us after choosing a dialogue. And then we need to enter special names to these points, so script can understand what dialogues and with what NPC it needs to select. In the gatekeeper's point name, its ID and basic dialogue should be indicated, and in the location point name. Indicate the dialogue that must be selected in order to teleport to this location. One-way connections needs to script can understand that it can teleport from gatekeeper to the location, but from location to the gatekeeper no. So, being in the town, we run up to the gatekeeper and open a dialogue with him. Go to the GPS editor. Click on the icon with the locator to find our character on the map. Look for the point corresponding to the location of the NPC, if it does not exist. Add it. In our case, point had been already created. We click on it and look in the column name. This is the gatekeeper's point, and we need to specify two parameters in it. NPC ID and DLG base, basic dialogue. Here these parameters are already configured. As you can see, you just need to write NPC ID equals and specify the gatekeeper's ID, which can be viewed in the bot. The parameters are listed through a semicolon, so after that we write a semicolon and specify the second parameter DLG base equals, and then we specify a line with a basic dialog that opens a list with a choice of teleporters. As a rule it is something like teleport. There can be several dialogues, and they are listed through a vertical slash. Dialogues can contain both strings and numbers of dialogues, but strings will be more universal. In addition, you can use masks here. This is when you write asterisk part of the dialogue instead of the whole dialogue. If a dialogue is indicated in the dialogue line that will not be available for selection, the script will skip it and proceed to the next. I.e. this tuned line indicates that the script should try to browse the dialogue in two languages, first by exact match, then by mask. This is done so that the standard map works on as many different free shards as possible, it would be enough to enter here simply teleport, with a capital letter, or asterisk teleport, by mask. In order not to write the dialogue selection lines manually, I advise you to use the plugins interface, click the plus button and select the dialogue you need, it will not only be written to the list, so that it can be copied later, but also automatically selected. We want to set up a teleport to the crypts of disgrace. We check again that we have selected the gatekeeper's point, and then select dialogues in the plugin interface. we teleported to the location. A point with directed connection has already been created here, but let me show you how to create it correctly. I'll step back a little so that the points do not overlap each other. So, the gatekeeper's point is created and selected.
We click on the button Add Directed Edge and then add a point with the character coordinates. You will see an orange blue line. That's how directed connection looks like. It means that everything is done right. Further, in the name of this point, you must specify the parameter DLG cell equals and enter dialog you had to click in order for the character to teleport here. I.e. in the gatekeeper's point we enter basic dialog teleport and after that we have a choice of exactly where to teleport different locations and towns, and so in DLG cell we specify the second part of the dialogue. For this location it will be asterisk crypts of disgrace, and for example for another. Asterisk den of evil or asterisk goddart. There can also be several dialogues, and they are also listed through a vertical slash. At an existing point, you can see that two dialogues are listed in two different languages, we also add our option there asterisk crypts of disgrace and delete the second point be careful when editing the database if you create extra points or forget to specify a connection between points the character may then not find the route. So, we set up the point which the character is teleported to, now from it you need to make the route to the spot. We turn on the creation of two-way connections instead of one-way ones. Check that we have a point selected next to us. And turn on the route record. Now, you need to run to the spot in the game window using the mouse. You cannot run with the keyboard because a bunch of garbage points will be created. The distance between points does not play a special role. We get to the alleged spot and turn off the recording. That's all. As you can see, setting up routes in GPS is simple and quick, and due to the visual editor, it's even more convenient than primitive recording of a route in a text file. But thanks to GPS, your bot will be able to easily move between towns, and you can run the script in any town, but it will still find the path to your spot. I.e. I can run the script in town of Dian, and character will teleport himself to town of Shutgert via gatekeepers, and then to the crypts of disgrace. And script will always find itself at any intermediate point of the route, and continue moving to the final point, without using scroll of escape and other useless movements. I would also like to note that if the gatekeeper on your server is also a custom NPC, then do not forget to add it to the database, too, as I showed earlier. And one more. If suddenly when you run the script you see that your bot is trying to do teleport through standard gatekeepers, instead of the routes you configured through custom NPCs, just delete the standard route. You can either remove the connection between the gatekeeper's point and the location's point, or delete the location's point, and the connection will be deleted automatically. And finally, you need to create and configure the spot where you are going to farm. To do this, open the plugin interface and go to the Spot tab. In this tab, you can configure any number of spots. This list of configured spots is not tied to a specific script config, i.e. you can pre-configure several different spots at different locations and then use them when setting up the hunter config. Before creating a spot, let's draw its zone and configure the bot config. Open the map in the Adrenaline bot. Click on it with the mouse button and activate Edit Zone. Draw a Farm Zone and click Save Zone. Give it the name Crypts of Disgrace 1. Now configure the bot config. Open the Adrenaline bot interface. Configure the attack.
In the Search Zone tab, select Map as the type of combat zone. This will be enough for us to demonstrate. Save the config and close the interface. We return to the plugin. Click the Add button. A spot will appear in the table, but it not configured yet. Select it, give it a name. Select the farm zone, but do not specify the bot config. If you leave this field empty, the bot config will be loaded according to the script settings, in the main settings, I will show it later. Now let's set the point inside the spot where bot will run to. We check that we are standing inside our farm zone. Select a spot, press the plus button, and then the P button to set this point to our current coordinates. The spot is configured, do not forget to save. Now go to the main settings and specify names of the spots. As well as the config of the bot that will be loaded. Save the script config. Now let's run the script. That's all, if you have questions regarding the script. Follow the link in the description and contact me. Also share this video with your clan and party members. This will help me, and I will have more motivation to add new cool features. See you next video. Bye bye.